Imagine a world where almost all of humanity has vanished. Just one man remains, me, and I'm left with the monumental task of saving what's left of the human race. Crazy concept, right? But let me take you on this wild ride. When the realization hits me, it's like a punch in the gut. I'm the last man standing. Around me, silence echoes where once there were voices, laughter and life. The weight of loneliness is crushing, but the drive to revive humanity, it's overpowering. So what do I do? I set off on a quest to find a laboratory. Not just any lab, but one equipped for genetic experiments. Picture me, rummaging through deserted cities, dodging remnants of a once bustling civilization. And finally, I find it. A state-of-the-art lab that seems like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Now here's where things get really interesting. I start experimenting with DNA, human DNA and animal DNA. Sounds like a plot from a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But with each failed experiment, my hope starts to wane. It's trial and error, errors that sometimes lead to bizarre creations. I'm talking strange mixes of man and beast that seem out of a twisted fairy tale. But then after countless attempts and failures, something incredible happens. It works. I've created a viable new form of life. It's not purely human, not anymore, but it's a start. It's the dawn of a new era for humanity. Thanks to these hybrid beings, slowly but surely, life begins to flourish again. Cities start to fill, laughter echoes once more, and the planet, our home, starts to heal. All because of a wild idea to mix what was left of us with what thrived around us. So, what do you think? If you were the last person on Earth, how far would you go to save humanity? Would you play with the building blocks of life itself? It's a thought-provoking scenario, isn't it? Thanks for joining me on this hypothetical journey. Who knew saving humanity could get so genetically complex?